a temporary tattoo that detects drugs and drinks could prevent spiking with roofies. The news seeker responds within one second to even low concentrations of the drug GHB, according to scientists. When drinking in a social setting, downing a drink spiked with drugs including GHB or rohypnol, known as roofies, is an ever-present danger. The drugs are colorless and tasteless, and induce a stupor in the victim that's similar to severe alcohol intoxication, which leaves people vulnerable to being overpowered. But people can protect themselves by testing their drinks with specialized strips or cards that change color if exposed to the drugs. However, current tests are often conspicuous or take minutes to report the results. Now researchers in South Korea have developed a rapid-acting test for GHB that's worn on the skin using a tattoo-like sticker. To create the stickers, the researchers place a mold over top a thin plastic film decorated with tattoo-like designs. The team poured a gel mixture into the mold, containing a chemical receptor that turns red when it detects GHB. They then coated the back of the sticker with a diluted glue solution so it could stick to the skin. The researchers tested the sticker's ability to detect small amounts of GHB in a range of drinks, including whiskey, vodka, beer, and coffee. The findings published in the Journal of ACS Sensors showed that within a single second, it detected the drug across a range of concentrations and below a level that would induce serious physiological symptoms. 0.01 micrograms of GHB in one milliliter of a beverage. In practice, a wearer could dip a finger into the beverage, touch the drop to the sticker, and see the results almost immediately says study co-author Dr. Jiang Choil Ko of the Korea Research Institute of Bioscience and Biotechnology in a media release. And their sticker displays its positive results for up to 30 days after detection, which could be important if it's needed as a form of evidence of tampering. The researchers say that the sticker technology funded in part by funding from the National Research Foundation of Korea and the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety, it's cheap and easy to manufacture and could be commercially available soon. If you like more daily doses of positive news, please subscribe to my channel. Please also like and leave a comment as this really helps the channel grow. Links to the article on this news story can be found in the description of this episode. Thanks for watching.